Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Ghosted or Roasted. I'm Stacy Spratt. And I'm Dalen Spratt. Man, I thought your intro was going to have a little bit more pizzazz than that. See, y'all, I tried. Wait a minute. I Time tried. Dalen. <laughs> okay, do, you do your intro then. <clears throat> what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dalen Spratt, and this is Ghosted or Roasted. And you're tuned in for another spectacular episode where you get to choose if the clips are ghosted or roasted. You know. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to do you it. You have never done an intro like that. That's how you're supposed to do no, it. No, you have never done an intro like that. Man, listen. You just went way <laughs> extra just then. <laughs> you did the most. Yeah, we trying to train. We trying oh to train. Oh my gosh, whatever. Uh oh, our food is here, guys. Hold on one second. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Now, where were we? <laughs> Guess who's back? We had to pick up our lunch from the front door, y'all. <laughs> I got to, y'all, for Stacy to come join us on Ghost in the Roses, I have to feed her. <laughs> yes, you do. I, I, yes. And that's fair. That's fair. Absolutely. That's fair. Y'all, we got one. Come, blah, 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 blah. See, now you messing up. I got one for y'all right now, coming up hot. What you tell me? What you tell me about this? What you think? Gate to hell. It's 3 a.m. and Cassandra is shocked awake by the sound of her two very disturbed pit bulls. As she jumps from her bed and looks out of her bedroom window, she quickly realizes why her dogs are so upset. Her outside garden gate is moving, violently clanging back and forth all by itself. Is it windy out there? Yeah. Here. Oh, here. He says no wind. Now the gate moving by itself is shocking enough, but most terrifying of all, some very strange looking oh. person appears to be standing just outside the garden fence. Do we got on the Cassandra tail? runs to grab a brighter flashlight, but when she returns, the mysterious figure has disappeared. She seems to hear something nearby and whispers, hello. As if in response to her greeting, someone violently pounds on the door right beside her. Cassandra says that she called the police, but they didn't find anyone or anything around her property. So whatever this is, it remains unexplained. It does look like a person. Uh, Did it look like a person? It looked like she got a stalker. It looked like a dude with a janitor jumpsuit on. Yeah, it did. Waiting outside. And then when she went to go get that flashlight, he was at the door. Yeah. Banging. Like, we both swiped right. We both swiped right. Why are we not together? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's online dating. That's that online yeah, dating. Yeah, I'm not going to. That didn't seem ghostly. And then, I mean, the wind could have been blowing. For the gate. For the gate. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm roasting it. So you're going to roast her safety. She got a whole stalker outside her house Listen, dressed like Michael Myers. This show Myers. is called Ghosted or Roasted. Not, <laughs> or not do you have a stalker. Oh, wow. This... <laughs> That's a, don't get us canceled, <laughs> Stacey. <laughs> no, because you're saying she has a stalker. I'm saying it's not a ghost. Okay. Okay. I hope she doesn't have a stalker. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. No one wants that. Nah, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get that ghostly. I, I, I'm gonna go stalk her. 
I'm gonna give that real life. Yeah, that was that, but that would be so scary. The, yeah, to look out there and have yeah. somebody outside your house. And then you go and get a flashlight and it's banging at the door. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, mm -mm. Yeah, that's a wrap. What you think about this one though? So we've got two the they're trees. What? I'm out. A little while ago. <laughs> Wait a minute. The way that you came in so hot with that introduction, and now you can't even talk. So, so but that's a new one because we're not ghosting it because it's not ghosting, but we're not roasting it because we don't think it's fake. So what category is that? Neutron? Neutral? Yeah, because I don't think it's fake. I think there was somebody out there that came along and was banging on her door. Okay, so it's still ghosted. But ghosting. it's not a ghost. But it's still ghosted. No. We, Stacey, there's only two options, ghosted or roasted. It's only two. No. <laughs> Those it's going to be it's, ghosted or roasted. Unghosted. What? That's roasted. Mm -mm. Unghosted. It's not a ghost, but you're in a category. Well, I guess that one's unghosted, y'all. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What that means. I don't know. <laughs> she making up rules as she goes, guys. I need time. She making it up as she goes, guys. What is this one? So I featured the creepy story of Lauren Combs, who over the course of a year captured multiple mysterious unexplained events in her home in Waco, Texas. Waco? Uh -oh. Did you do that? <laughs> the dog got on battery, there, didn't he? Yeah. Oh! Yes, my captain. That was bad. I'm to show that again. Yeah, that was quick. Oh my God. Now, since these terrifying events, Lauren has installed a new security camera in her backyard because eerily, a lot of the strange activity at her home seems to take place in the wooded area just behind her house. So late one night, Lauren is hanging out and casually playing some Call of Duty with her roommate when their dogs begin to totally freak out for no apparent reason. What happens next is all caught on camera. See, if they would have left, I would have left. The dogs all seem freaked out by something that is going on outside the house. So Lauren checks her outside security cameras and sees something that chills her to her core. Is that like a light? It's like, uh, is it like an animal? What kind of animal would that be? I gotta zoom. You gotta zoom. Someone or something can be seen quickly pacing or maybe even running back and forth along the tree line in oh, Lauren's oh, backyard. Like a, oh, wow. Lauren has no idea who or what this could be and is extremely disturbed by the whole experience, especially right. after everything else that has happened in the past. So just what do you think is going on here? And what is this? Nah, Stacey, what animal you know play like that? What animal move like that? Like this? <laughs> what animal you know move like that? <laughs> Daylon, it could be an animal. I'm not. A dog can turn around. Any animal can can go this way and then turn around. Y'all, Stacy was born in Green Bolt, Mississippi. No, I was not. <laughs> Where you was born at? I was born in Toledo, Ohio. But then you moved to Mississippi. No, then I moved to Saginaw, Michigan. And then after that, it was Mississippi. <laughs> you don't know your wife, huh? You know I'm trying to get you. Wife. I'm really just trying to get to the point that you lived yes, in Mississippi. Yes, and then I lived in Mississippi. Now, all the country and woods and all that stuff in Mississippi, you ain't never seen nothing. 
of that sort move around like that? I think it's an animal. What animal moves like that? Give How me was it moving, Daylin? Stacy, I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> like this. It was like a snake move. It was body rolling through the woods. <laughs> It was magic Mike in through the woods. <laughs> body roll, body yeah. roll. Yeah, that's oh what I my feel like. Gosh. So you feel like it's a ghost? Yeah, I do for real. I'm ghosting that one for sure, for sure. Because of the movement. Yeah, that. Yeah, mm. yeah. The movement alone just was unnatural. So you to me. don't think it was a, okay? It was a unnatural movement. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All okay. jokes aside, I'm ghosting it. What about you? I'm kind of on the fence, but I'm a ghost it. Okay, don't say, don't hop on my side. Don't worry, I'm not. <laughs> don't hop on my side of but the fence. I, I, I'm straddling the fence a little bit, but the dogs, you know, the way they were acting. You can't get dogs. That's what I'm saying. Dogs saying. and children. They felt something. They felt something. So I'm going to ghost it. Ghosting it? I'm ghosting it. Okay. All right. All right. You on the same page? On the same page, too For Security guard Freddie works at a busy construction site in Texas. He says that during a night shift, a construction worker named Jose needed help moving a giant heavy wooden cable reel. Jose is relieved when a fellow worker who he's never met suddenly offers to help him out. After they move the heavy cable reel, Jose looks back over to thank the young man. But he's disappeared. Jose reports what happened to the security guard, Freddy, and to his foreman, but they tell Jose that he was the only worker on duty that night. He was completely alone on the job site. So as a matter of site security, they check the CCTV footage and they're shocked by what they find. And this is where things get really weird because Jose spots a photo on the wall inside the office and recognizes the man in the picture as the man who helped him out that night. Security guard Freddy and Jose's foreman are chilled to their core. Because you see, the man Jose points out in the photo passed away over seven years ago. The man's name was Alan Lopez and back in 2015 when he was only 21 years old, he was hit by a truck on the job site and passed away almost instantly. Security guard Freddy decides to post the bizarre footage on TikTok, but after receiving some backlash, he decides to actually show just how difficult it is to move one of the heavy wooden cable reels. If he just had to prove to people how heavy it was for one person to push that cable reel, why would you let no boy push the cable reel by itself the first time? <laughs> <When you confused. laughs> the, the ghost, why you let Ghost Buddy push it? You ain't had no problem. Well, he was like, <laughs> yeah, he was like, you come on, but because he wasn't touching it, he was right. just backing up. But my thing is, if you know it's that heavy, you you wasn't even trying to Listen, assist the man that you thought was pushing you and helping you. He's a little older, young man. He was a young, he was a young whippersnapper. He said, Stacey. "Okay, youngin, you go on and push it." Stacy, look at this. Even if you pushed it hard enough. Rolling that far and it's coming back. So could it be that Jose received help from the ghost of Alan Lopez, whose spirit is still wandering the job site? It's moving Let me know 
down in the comments. A phantom favor. Hey man, all I know is some company is out there getting free labor. <laughs> for from sure. A, from a ghost. For sure. That's wild to think seven years later that that spirit is still out there working. I'm ghosting it. Yeah. I, I believe that that young man's spirit is still out there. I do too. For him to pick him out on the on the wall on the wall and they said oh no 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 he 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 gone that one's for sure that one's ghosted yeah that I'm one's ghosting ghosted. it that was because i got one more for you okay i got one more for you you tell me what you think about this one and then you tell me if i did good today mm, let's see. with my video pickings stop Late one night, truck driver Danny Ramirez pulls over at a rest stop in Oregon to sleep for the night. But there will be no sleep this night. He experiences something truly bizarre. So I hear stuff out here. I'm over here on 97 on the rest stop. And, uh, I don't know. What the heck is that? Stop at this rest stop. <laughs> and they say Bigfoot isn't real? I don't even want to stick my arm out the window. <laughs> no, nobody else out there here? Yeah. I can't believe a loud animal like whale can be heard coming from the woods right in front of Danny's park truck. Danny believes he might have captured the sounds of a Bigfoot. Now it should be noted here that Danny has never posted anything related to the paranormal on his TikTok, which makes this creepy footage that much more believable. Also others say that they've heard the exact same sounds in this exact same area. But of course, real or not. I leave that to you to decide. An unrestful. I don't know what Bigfoot is supposed to sound like. Is it supposed to sound like that? I'm. I'm listen. I'm not a Bigfootologist. I mean, the I way know. that you said, "Ooh, Bigfoot," you said it even before. I mean, I just felt the, like the com, you know the commentator said anything. In my mind, that's what Bigfoot sounds like. Mm. What did Bigfoot sound like in your mind? I never thought about it. But now that you think about it, what does it sound like? I guess it what, could sound like that. No, you got to make the sound. What do you think it sound like? <laughs> First of all, I didn't think you was really gonna do it. <laughs> But y'all, I mean, apparently that's what Bigfoot sounds to Stacy, y'all. That sounded pretty close to what we just heard. Okay, okay. So are you ghosting that or are you roasting that? And like they said, Buddy ain't posted nothing paranormal ever before on his page. He was like, no, nah, like this is I something. mean, we know the sound was there. The question is, is it a ghost or is it the sound of a horn or the dying animal? Like, Okay. So. Maybe any hunters out there what does it sound like when animals die <laughs> i know that sounds horrible yeah but maybe maybe that's a sound of like a elk i don't know a reindeer there's someone out there that might know i think it was too a moose i think it was too big 
foot bumping uglies. It was some body rocking, knocking, locking, socking, knocking boots. <laughs> knocking boots, baby. Them big, them big feet was body rocking, knocking what, boots. What is wrong? There was some big boots. With this guy. There was some big boots. So are you ghosting it or roasting? Hey, I'm ghosting it. I'm ghosting it. I think it was a dead animal. So you roasting it? I'm roasting it. Ooh, a house divided. Yes. Let us know what you think in the comment section, y'all. What's your? You have to do your outro. Oh no, you go ahead, Mister Intro Outro. Y'all, it's been another amazing episode of Ghost of the Roasted. Thank you for clocking in, tuning in. I've been your amazing host, you Dalen. Messed up. You messed up. You said thank you for clocking in. That's what you get for trying to be so extra. That's what you get. No one clocked in to Ghost of the Roasted. Everybody clocked in. Mm -mm. Love, love, love. Wait a minute. Go ahead. My bad. Thank you guys so much for joining us at Ghosted or Roasted. Love, love, love.